Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. Last week was a very snowy week, which kept our staff and particularly our Public Works Department quite busy. Snow plows ran constantly for several days to help keep the streets clear. Unfortunately, trash collection had to be suspended in order to ensure the safety of our workers. However, trash collection will resume this week on a regular schedule. If you're driving in the city during a snowy event, please remember these safety tips. Drive slowly with your headlights on. Do not pass snow plows. Stay three or more car lengths behind snow plows. If approaching a snow plow, please slow down and give the plow extra room. Please avoid parking on the streets, which restricts the plows from moving snow. I want to thank our staff and especially the snow plow operators for working together to keep our roads clear and our residents safe. They did an excellent job during these repeated storm fronts and I appreciate their efforts. The Prescott Lakes Parkway and Sundog Ranch Road intersection improvements project is scheduled to begin this week, depending on the weather. The City of Prescott and our contractor, Asphalt Paving and Supply, are beginning a new project to improve the safety of Prescott Lakes Parkway and Sundog Ranch Road intersection. The project includes reconstructing and signalizing the intersection to improve safety and traffic flow. In addition to new traffic signals, this project includes turn lane additions, new sidewalks and ramps at three corners of the intersection, new safety markings, and the reconstruction of asphalt pavement. Work hours may occur Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Please be aware of potential lane closures and restrictions. Rough road conditions, reduced speeds, loud noise, and flagging operations throughout the work zones. Access to Sundog Ranch Road, the Peavine Trail, and the city's transfer station and facilities will remain open at all times throughout construction. During the Prescott Chamber of Commerce annual meeting last month, I gave a presentation on the state of the city. Last week, I spoke of the number of accomplishments and projects completed in 2023. This week, I want to look ahead to 2024 as Council considers several important matters. State Route 89 project through the Granite Dells. This matter will come back to Council for a decision on how to proceed. At the very least, repair of the effluent lines will be imperative. The matter of whether or not or how much to widen this stretch of the road will be up to the City Council. Airport protection. The City will continue to pursue opportunities to make sure that the area around Prescott Regional Airport is appropriately safe and compatible in use with the nation's 18th busiest airport. Public safety. We will accelerate planning and site acquisition for new public safety infrastructure, including one or more new fire stations. Workforce Housing. The Committee and Council met jointly recently, bringing Council up to date on the Committee's findings and recommendations so far. Glassford Dells Regional Park. Now that the land has been purchased, we will work with Prescott Valley and Yavapai County and begin to plan for how best to utilize this significant open space asset. The City's finances remain robust but with some signs of slowing taxable activity. Overall taxable activity, which includes TPT or sales tax, is up a modest 0.5% year over year as reported in November. Transient occupancy tax or bed tax in our hotel and motel rooms is down 2.4% year over year through November. Building permit activity in the city of Prescott is up 1.4% through November this is in contrast to a broad downward trend that we're seeing throughout the rest of the region. The city has nearly 1,500 new rental units in various stages of development. My hope is that this significant new supply will moderate rental rates for our local workforce. Commercial development has been steady, highlighted by two new hotels under development to support our robust tourism activities. I believe Prescott is positioned to mirror conditions around the state of Arizona. With steady moderate economic vitality, 
bolstered by enhanced tourism and hospitality amenities, including new lodging, dining, and attractions such as Glassford Dells Regional Park and others. There are two executive sessions scheduled for this week. During Tuesday's executive session, we will be discussing possible land acquisition around the airport, as well as receiving information on related dispute resolutions. We will also discuss treatment of confidential attorney-client information and records exempt from public inspection. Finally, we will discuss and consider the filling of the position of city manager, both on an interim and on a permanent basis. On Wednesday's executive session, Council will interview two potential candidates provided by Interim Public Management for the Interim City Manager position. The link to the agenda is below. At the 1 p.m. study session, we'll hear from staff regarding the continued presentation of the 2024 Water Management Policy proposals. During this study session on January 9th, we heard the beginning of the presentation. This will continue that discussion. During the 3 p.m. voting meeting, we will be considering a petition brought to the Council by Bonnie McMinn relating to the proposed SR-89 widening project. Our staff has carefully considered the petition and has made several modification suggestions for an official resolution addressing the concerns of the residents. We will vote on that petition and possible resolution tomorrow. We will also consider a couple of contracts for sidewalk replacement and pavement management services. Finally, we will consider a notice of intent to increase water and wastewater rates with a public hearing set for May 28th. In other meetings this week, the Tourism Advisory Committee meets Wednesday, February 14th at 11 a.m. The Board of Adjustment meeting will take place at 9 a.m. on Thursday, February 15th. Both meetings will be held here at City Hall Council Chambers. There will be a strategic planning workshop on Thursday and Friday at the Marina Room at the Hasiampa Inn. The workshop will start at 8 a.m. on both Thursday and Friday. Don't forget the City of Prescott is hosting its annual Household Hazardous Waste event starting March 4th through March 29th. This is an exclusive event for City of Prescott residential trash customers. We have contracted with a hazardous waste team to come to your home to pick up your hazardous items. Pre-registration is required and began on February 5th. Be sure to get registered online for your specialty pickup. The link is below. I'm Mayor Phil Good. I'll be updating you again next week. Thanks for watching.